Good afternoon. Welcome to Hope and Prayer for Our World. I'm Reverend Nan Nelson, pastor of Biomeda United Methodist Church. I'm thankful that you are here this afternoon to spend a few moments with me. I invite you to look around. Look around where you are at this moment and, and what do you see? Maybe you see your living room, your kitchen, your den, your your deck, your patio, your pool, your yard. Maybe you're at the lake. Maybe you're on vacation and just happened in to see this. But do you, wherever you are, do you see love? Do you see happiness? Do you see joy? Or do you see frustration, illness, sorrow, grief, aggravation, injustice? What do you see? 18 months ago, the pandemic was six months old. And we were pretty much homebound except for going to the limited businesses were op that were open and the essential businesses, which have remained open throughout this 18 months. Most businesses are open now if they were able to survive the pandemic and continue to remain in business. Many have lost jobs. Many are finding jobs again now. And for that, I'm thankful. But do you look to Jesus in whatever you see? If it's wonderful and happiness and praise and joy and excitement, do you give God thanks? And on the other hand, if you see injustice, do you seek God's help in overcoming injustice? If you seal or are experiencing sorrow or illness or grief, do you look to God for your strength? God is our refuge and our strength in times of trouble, in times of joy. In times where we struggle and are stressed, do you look to God? Hear these words from Psalm 105, verses 4 through 7. It's about looking to, looking to the Lord for our strength. Verse 4 says, beginning in verse 4, Look to the Lord and his strength. Seek his face. Always remember the wonders he has done, his miracles and the judgments he pronounced. You, his servants, the descendants of Abraham, his chosen, his chosen ones, the children of Jacob. He is the Lord our God and his judgments are in all the earth. This is the word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. Not only is the Lord our strength, he's also with us every moment of every day and night, every day of the year, every moment. We can call on his name. We can seek him in all these times of joy and sadness and sorrow, injustice, aggravation, division, divisiveness, frustration. And yes, our world has a divisive side going on right now. To vaccinate or not to vaccinate. To wear a mask or not wear a mask. To socially distance or not socially distance. And then the, there's political sides and, and the, there's issues within churches in the Methodist United Methodist denomination most people have seen in the news that there will be a general conference in 2022 talking about be a global United Methodist Church or a progressive United a progressive church, and it won't be United. I, I misspoke. It's a global Methodist Church or a progressive Methodist Church. Which side are people on? From my perspective, people, whether it's the state of the denomination to which I belong 
or whether to vaccinate or not, whether to wear a mask or not, whether to follow the safety protocols by the CDC or not, or listen to some other voice. There is no agreement among many who have formed their opinions to which they have a right. And those who have chosen to do all those things. My prayer is that all of us are safety and no one becomes ill because of COVID-19 or the Delta variant or any other of the other variants if they come to the United States. I pray that all of us look to the Lord for our strength and our refuge in times of happiness and joy, as well as in times of trouble and sorrow, when our world is upside down and we don't know where to turn, we can turn to God, who loves us no matter what we've done, what we haven't done, or what we may do in the future. He loves us anyway. He loves us just that much. And he's there for you and all of us to turn to, call on his name, have a conversation with him, read his word in the book, the Bible, and find peace, find peace and comfort in the times of pandemic and COVID of whatever form that it takes. Be in prayer for those who are ill with COVID, be in prayer for those in ICU, be in prayer for the frontline workers and for all who have businesses and for all of God's creation and all of his people. We need to pray for one another. We need to be a praying community. We need to be a praying nation and pray for peace and healing of our nation and our individual selves and as communities and cities, we need to pray. We need to pray for peace and justice and love to reign in God's kingdom on earth. I want to close with another scripture. It comes from the Gospel of Luke, the sixth chapter the 41st through the 42nd verses, and this is just the beginning of the closing. Because of the pandemic and because of the dissension and divisiveness with others, perhaps we need to think about these two verses. Why do you look at the speck of sawdust in your brother's eye and pay no attention to the plank in your own eye? When it speaks of the brother, it speaks of your neighbor. How can you say to your brother, brother, let me take the speck out of your eye when you yourself fail to see the plank in your own eye? You hypocrite, first take the plank out of your eye and then you will see clearly to remove the speck from your brother's eye. Think about that. Think about that. What if, what if, Everyone, everyone on this earth, in our communities, our cities, our states, and our nations, loved one another enough to be able to find a way to agree to disagree, no matter what the situation, whether it's being vaccinated or not, wearing a mask or not, following safe protocols to prevent spreading of the virus. Whatever, or a, splitting a denomination, or splitting a nation, whatever that is, if we could see the, one another's side and agree, if we don't agree, it's okay. We can still be friends. We can still be neighbors because we're all God's children and God taught us to love one another. Will you pray with me? Heavenly Father, thank you for this day and for the love that you have for all of your children on this earth. Help us to be able to love our neighbors as much as we love ourselves 
so that we can see the planks in our own eyes and remove them so we can take the speck out of our neighbor's eye. Be with us. Heal our nation, heal our cities, our communities, and heal our families and our friends who are sick. I ask these things in the precious name of Jesus. Amen. Have a wonderful day, and until we meet again, I'm Reverend Nan Nelson, pastor of Biomeda United Methodist Church. You can find us here on Sunday morning at 11 o'clock on YouTube at Biomeda United Methodist Church and on Facebook at Biomeda UMC. You can find us here on Thursdays at 12 noon for a hope and prayer for our world, a few moments of devotion time and prayer. At 12 noon on Thursdays, Biomeda United Methodist Church on YouTube, Biomeda UMC on Facebook. Until we meet again, may God bless you.